everyone, I'm Nitya Kauri and in this video we will talk about different reports in X-Ray. We will see what these are and how to create them in X-Ray. So let's get started. In this section, let's see how to view and generate different reports provided by X-Ray for testing. To see all these reports, we will go to the apps drop down, click X-Ray and here on the left hand side, we have a report section which shows us different reports that we can generate in X-Ray, which includes test coverage, traceability, test plan metrics, also the different lists which can be generated in the form of report depicting what all different test cases we have or test sets we have or test plans, test executions. Let's start with test coverage. Clicking on this eye icon, it will tell you what is meant by this report. So this report shows a calculated test coverage status for a list of covered issues. That is, we can see the testing status of different issues which have been covered through test cases. This report will be generated based on what we select among these filters. Here, the first one defines the scope. That is, we can specify the scope of this report. For example, we can generate test coverage report for a particular version. Also, we can filter the environments through this drop-down. Since the environments are not defined for this project, hence it's showing all environments over here. But we can define the environments by going to the X-ray settings option. If you specify the environments for your project, then they will be shown under this drop-down. Then we can specify the scope of this report for a particular test plan as well. Now I can also do grouping of this coverage report based on different values. I can view the report as a flat structure or as a hierarchical structure. Also, I can narrow down my test coverage report by providing other different filters using this drop down. For example, I want to see the report for a particular version or a status or under a particular assignee. Okay. So I'll reset it to default. Now I'll generate the report. My test coverage report with respect to all the above criteria is on the screen now. It is quite easy to read because it is shown with different colors and the meaning of those colors are written besides them. Also, when I hover the mouse over these colors, I can see the meaning of these colors and the percentage covered. For example, it says for status OK, only two test cases have been covered, which is a 25% of this test coverage report. Similarly, it says that around 37.5 are still uncovered. OK, so that was test coverage report. Now coming to the traceability, traceability reports is a report in which we can find out what all requirements lead to what all defects. Now again, I can generate this report using this generate report button. And again, I have a scope to define. I can narrow down the traceability report using different filters. It also provides me an option whether I want to show or not the test runs. Okay, if we see the scope, we have the same dialog box where we can define the scope of this traceability report for a particular version or a test plan and we want the report with respect to a particular environment we can specify it over here click on apply and we are done again we can narrow down the traceability report using different filters over here for example i can generate the traceability report only for a particular component within a project again we can click on this button apply and we are done now let's click on the generate report button this is how a traceability report will look like. Again, it helps us in narrowing down our search with the help of these quick filters. 
Let's say I want to see only the uncovered issues. I can click on this and it tells that these are the issues which are uncovered. Now I want to see the ones which are not okay. Here it shows me that this particular story had tests associated with it which went through a few test runs and among them a few were failed and we got a few defects out of them and these defects we can link them directly we can find directly what all defects we got with respect to this particular requirement now if i scroll down i can see many other defects which were created with respect to different test runs which were done on a particular test case and then this test case is finally associated with this particular requirement so here if you see i have two filters selected with me that is currently i'm able to see the not okay ones as well as the uncovered ones now if i clear all the filters i can see all the issues within the scope and the statuses of testing associated with them so this is a very helpful report used widely among teams it's quite helpful in finding out whether your requirement is okay and is ready to go or not as well as it helps to trace down which requirement got what all defects so these were the two very important reports which are used everywhere all the time while doing test management with that let's move on to the next report that is test plans metrics again if i click on this icon it tells us what this report is all about it says that this report will show a list of test plans with a consolidated information about each one of them including the test statuses count overall progress and test environment related metrics etc again we have this filter associated with it that is i can narrow down my test plan metrics based on certain criteria filters provided over here click on the generate report we have a test plan metrics report on the screen now and if we see we have a test plan column then with respect to each test plan we have tests by status we have the total executions associated with it we have the count of defects and we also have tests by test types if we see cm36 that is the third plan the second column test by statuses shows that it has nine tests in total out of which seven are still in to do and to have passed it also shows the test executions that have happened under this test plan if there are open or closed issues and also what all types of test cases are involved in this test plan then on the right hand side i have this show drop down with the help of which i can remove or add few other columns of this report let's say i want to remove the totals and I want to add the success rate. So this is how I can modify my test plan metrics report. I can also share this report with my stakeholders by getting a link associated with it and then providing that link to whomsoever I want to share this report with. Moving back under the report section, we have a couple of lists also which we can generate as a report. Let's see test list. Again, we can define a scope for test list. And we can also narrow down the tests list using these filter criteria. Click on generate report. This report provides a list of all the different test cases which fall under this scope and a certain filter criteria. Again, I can share this report using a URL or I can also export this report in a CSV file. Similarly, we can create other lists like a test set list, which again has a scope and a filter criteria to be followed. Let's generate the report. 
I have a list of test sets along with other information in different columns. I have an option to add or remove more columns over here. I leave it to you guys to explore it and create a report that is best for your project. Again, I can export it to a CSV. Similarly, I'll move to the test plan lists. The test plans list also have a scope which we can define and other filter criteria. Generate report. Following the similar pattern, the columns drop down helps us to redefine our columns by adding or removing some of the information over here. Again, we can either share a URL of this report with our stakeholders or we can export this report into a CSV file. Let's see how it looks. I'll open this report and as we can see a nice report with all the different column data has been downloaded for us. Moving back to Jira, I have a test executions list. As we can see we cannot define a scope over here but we can specify the criteria for generating our test executions list based on these filters. We can also filter out the executions list using advanced jQuery, where I can specify exactly what test executions I need. For example, I can say that I need only those execution results which have the highest priority. And then if we click on the apply button, we will particularly generate a list of those executions which follow this jQuery search criteria. Again, we have a list of executions and like all the other lists, I can redefine the columns specified in this report. I can also export this report to a CSV file or I can share it as a URL. I'm moving on to the test runs list. Again, we have a filter and I can specify what all test runs do I want to see using these criteria. And if we see under this filter, we have some more options or sections available here, which we can use. Let's say I want only those test runs which are executed by management list and which have a status failed. Let's apply and generate report. Now we can see we got a list of only those test runs which had the failed status associated with them. Again, from the columns drop down, I can redefine the column of this particular report. Let's say I want to add actual end and actual start date as well here in this report. Let's click the done button and yes, I have started at and finished at times as well available in this report. Let's view it as a CSV file. As we can see, a report with all these columns and information is created and downloaded for me. Moving back, so as a summary, X-Ray provides a good range of reports which are quite helpful for the projects who want to do a full test management within the Jira projects. So that was all I wanted to cover for X-Ray. I hope you liked this series and I hope that there was a lot of information that you found helpful in this series. Do not forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed already. If there are any questions or doubts, you can write to me in the comment section. Thank you so very much for watching the video. Also, I will be placing all the important links in the description. Bye for now.